Hello everyone and welcome back to another tutorial in 3ds Max. Well, in the previous lesson we were talking about we were introducing the interface of 3ds Max and a couple of shortcuts and some couple of uh, settings, okay? So, in this lesson we will be learning about something else. We're going to start with 3ds Max. We will start modeling, okay? And in addition to we will be learning how to select objects well to start with I'm going to start where we left last time so we're going to expand this window holding the alt and W in order to expand this window okay well the first thing you need to know is um, something about whenever there is an object and you want to um, actually to manage um, this uh, work atmosphere so whenever you want to slide to the left or right all you have to do is to press the scroll on mouse okay and it will pan this 3ds max workspace okay so press the scroll to pan through this workspace now in order to zo zoom in and zoom out all you need to do is to scroll forward to zoom in scroll outward backwards in order to zoom out now as you can see this um, zoom is like uh, is lagging okay so if you want a smoother zoom all you have to do is to hold the control hold the alt key and press the scroll on your mouse now slide your mouse forward in order to get a smooth zoom in slide it backwards and here is a small zoom out okay so zoom in using a scroll only holding alt and control sliding forward and backwards amazing now if i want to um, actually rotate around this object over here so hold the alt key and press the scroll Hold the Alt key and press the scroll and you'll notice that you're going to be able to rotate around this object simply. Okay guys, that's it. Now, whenever we, uh, since we are talking about zooming in and zoom out, if you press the Z key on your keyboard, it's going to zoom all, like it's going to, um, it's going to include all of your objects inside your screen like for example there are a couple of boxes over here and let's make another one here make another one here now whenever you are lost for example in your file just press Z and every single object is going to be included in your screen okay guys now something else whenever um, uh, there is an object a selected object okay I'm going to only to press on it and you pressed Z it's going to zoom in to that object okay guys now let's zoom out for example um, let me delete every single object now that's everything about um, managing the workspace um, let's talk about now creating an object in order to select them okay Let's create a box from here, from the main panel. Select the box, okay, you'll notice that it becomes blue. Now, how can I create a box? Simply follow along these um, simple steps. Click and hold, okay? Click and hold. Now drag. Whenever you drag, you are um, uh, creating a plan. Now leave your mouse button then slide your mouse upwards and you will notice that this model is being created okay either upwards or downwards it's up to you guys now whenever I want to like I'm satisfied with this height okay so hit your mouse again hit the left key and it's going to be created this way again press and hold drag leave your mouse then slide it upwards and click left 
button okay that's it now um, for example if I um, just created this box and actually I'm not satisfied with it and I want to create maybe a sphere instead of box okay so I want to cancel this one you have two different ways the first one is to press the escape key or to press the right um, uh, click on your mouse and it will be cancelled okay so click hold good drag slide it up right click and it's going to be cancelled if you notice guys that um, whenever I choose something or an object to draw or to create uh, once I'm done with creating this object you'll notice that it is still running okay uh, like I can draw whatever I want for example the number I want of boxes as you can see I can rotate around them and that's it that's everything let's get maybe the cylinder for example just the same way guys um, maybe a tube you'll notice that um, there are a couple of settings mm, maybe a sphere click and drag since it's just uh, a diameter or a radius okay guys uh, a T bolt for example okay click and drag okay now this is everything about creating objects now is this way is the easiest one to create objects well um, I don't think so because I have already um, gave you and short, a shortcut guys over here in order to uh, manage through your workflow now as you can see that hit the control key or uh, hold it then press the right mouse click let's go there holding the control and right click with your mouse and you'll notice that um, this window pops up in your uh, 3ds max you notice that the first two sections are related to 2d shapes and 3d geometry okay guys so whenever i need to create a box all you have to do is to hold the control and right to click choose the box then create it okay i want to create a rectangle okay control right click rectangle or circle whatever i want for example okay you don't really have to go there then switch to geometry then choose um something you want to draw okay now uh, in case there is um the object i want to create is not existed in this um this menu over here so all you have to do is to click whatever you see over here then you choose the object you want to create from this panel okay that's it that's everything for creating an object in 3ds max now moving on to selection okay so if you want to select an object just press on it or click on it and it will be selected like for example i'm going to choose the moving uh, tool okay as you can see that this sub this selected object is the only one moving now if I want to add selection I want to add more objects hold the control then add objects and you'll notice that they are being added to your selection if I want to uh, subtract selection hold the alt then subtract one object for example just like this way okay guys now um, whenever I want to for example select more than objects in the same time like I need a window right guys I need to make sure to make a window that includes the objects I want to select well in 3ds max if you hold it uh, press left key on your mouse hold it then drag Okay. you'll notice that if you drag it to the left uh, this a dashed selection will appear okay now this dashed selection whenever it touches an object it will select it okay so 
if I only touched like for example these two uh, objects you'll notice that both of them are selected now if I jacked it to the right you'll notice that a continuous line selection will appear now this selection does not select an object just by touching it you have to include it inside of it okay just like so now what's the difference between them or how can i benefit from them like for example i want to select this object here uh, in between of all of this object instead of using this dashed selection and drawing my selection just like this way all you have to do is to use the other one include the one you are selecting then that's it okay guys now let's continue to something else for example i want to delete every single object and uh, except this object over here okay so this one i need it in my workspace and the others are going to be deleted now how can i manage that i'm going to select this object okay then invert selection holding the control then press i on your keyboard and you'll notice that it has inverted your selection okay guys so select one control i invert selection and that's everything now if i want to select every single single t pod in my scene how can i do that instead of holding control then selecting every single one this way now you have to at least select one of this of this category then hold the control press q and it will select every single related object to the pre previous selected one okay now like for example select a box ctrl q and every single box is being selected now let's move to the other side while i want for example to work on uh, only this box and the others are uh, being annoying or uh, detracting okay so i want to isolate this box over here all you have to do is select it hold the alt key then press q alt q now you'll notice that every single object has disappeared and this one uh, is being left in your workspace now how can i unhide all press the right mouse click then this menu will appear and press unhide all okay guys unhide all now i'm going to isolate this one alt q i want to unhide all that's it okay guys okay moving on to our next step is for example i want to work on this box over here and this one is being in in front of my face okay so i want to hide it instead of sliding it or move it to another place so all you have to do is to select this box right click on your mouse then hide selection okay guys hide selection and it will be hidden this way now work on your box how can i unhide it press the right click on your mouse then unhide all that's everything for selection okay now the last piece of our lesson today is how to manage um, the other elevations or views as we mentioned before that um, this is for example the perspective window i want to move to the front elevation hit the f key on your keyboard and the front elevation will appear this way now as you can see like not every object is included in my um, workspace so all you have to do is to press the z z key on your keyboard as you see that uh, also those objects are just being like uh, in wireframe mode how can i change it to solid object just press the f3 on your keyboard okay so f3 
it's going to transform it into wireframe mode like so then f3 again and it will be on default shading and this is what we want to work with so whenever you move to an elevation like for example vr we are on the right elevation hit the z just right after you move to that elevation for example i want to go to top i'm not going to press on the t i'm going to press t z so t z and this is the fastest way in order to manage your project like for example lz okay guys f3 for default shading f3 for wireframe now pz for perspective f3 wireframe f3 default shading if i want to show um these segments that uh, are on my objects you have to press the f4 and you will notice that these segments are being shown on your objects okay guys now press f4 and they will disappear f3 for wireframe f3 for default shading well that's it everyone that's everything for today's lesson all you have to do at your home is to go through every single object and to try it out okay uh, also the same for the shapes over here 2d shapes and try to create some of these objects try to isolate maybe select similar and hide and hide for example zoom all smooth zoom and I guess that's everything for today's lesson, see you in the other tutorial.